Hi there guys, this is d Treasure here, and today we'll be doing the Superb Taya event. Uh, this is the deck I'll be using uh, for farming Taya, and uh, yeah, it's pretty, well, expensive, but uh, if you can replace certain cards I'm about to tell you, uh, you can actually make a pretty budget depending on how you make the deck. So, this is the deck I, I've been using to farm Taya, and uh, yeah, it's I use the skill Elements Unite, as you know from Paradox Brothers skill, and uh, yeah, it's based around Thunder Dragon and Gate Guardian, and uh, yeah, uh, you pretty much get like in total points around eight to nine k, depending if you use Hollows or not. If you don't use Hollows or Foil-based cards, uh, you probably reach around eight thousand, and around up to eight thousand actually. Now I think about it, uh, but yeah, I run three Thunder Dragons, one. Uh, Gravekeeper's Vassal, free hatred aids, very expensive card, but um, you can actually replace it for a spiritualism or anything like uh, that. Will, or you can use counter counter actually for a, for a budget reason. You can use counter counter instead of this to make a budget because, well, um, you don't really need it as much. But counter counter is a way to actually bring out your cards more easily. It counters the counter trap. Uh, that's if he doesn't, if yeah, Taya doesn't open up with um, do divine wraps and uh, divine, uh, what was it? Divine something. A divine punishment, yeah. If it doesn't, she doesn't open with two divine, well, places two divine punishments on the field, you'll be kind of fine. And uh, I run three uni attacks, one polymerization just for the Thunder Dragon, twin out of Thunder Dragon plays, just to get more points. Uh, but if you have Fusion Blaze, I recommend playing it, just to get more points up. You, it'll go up by about 400, so, uh, yeah, it's pretty good. If not, then you won't reach 8,000. Sadly, you only reach around 7,000, 600, I believe. Uh, two Shard of Reeds. If you, only, if you only have one of these, or you don't have any of these, uh, just replace it for anything that draws, or anything that, uh, fins your deck out in a way. Because this deck, um, is, is a slow start, but once you fin out your deck a bit, it, is actually much much better. One secret pass to treasures, free goblin, uh, good goblin housekeeping, free go good go free good goblin housekeeping. Oh my god, that's hard to say. And free shot of breeds. All right, uh, let's do a match. Well, a game, I should say. I haven't got all the uh, cards yet, and also I don't have the sanctuary in the sky because I. Didn't pick it up in PvP. Rare ticket. I was focused on getting the um, Oyster Master at the time, so I didn't get it. But I should be able to get it hopefully next month. So, yeah. I should be able to get Sanctuary Sky next month when the uh, rank resets. I believe the Kyber Cup is up for the time, so I don't know. I think the Kyber Cup is. Um, Fly. Anyway, uh, well, it's next month, which is pretty short. I think we have one in February. But yeah. Anyway, Thunder Dragon uh, fits out your deck by two. Uh, and then I'm just going to summon Gate Guardian. Let's watch the animation, shall we? I really like the animation of this goes. It's like a Power Ranger thing. I just. They all combine into one to flip Megazord. Yeah, I don't know much about the guy yeah, when he fuses, but I know when he fuses. Ooh, that's just gonna be. Ooh. I don't know why I said that at all. <laughs> Alright, knowing those two cards are gonna be very hard to deal with, I'm not gonna activate the pick up the mask yet, because I need it for later. Usually I use Jagri just to uh, uh, trigger his face down cards, her face down cards I should say. And Hatrina is also a way to actually do as well. So what I do with Hatrina is I bait out the opponent's back room. This is just a baited out card. So it baits out Divine Punishment, so it gets rid of one, and that's fine. So now I'll just activate Shard of Greed, I mean sorry, Jar of Greed. There's nothing. All right, so I'll just activate. No, I'll just activate good goblin housekeeping. So that means he has. That means that face up card is not a divine punishment. 
it might be a magic jabba. Let's see. It's not. Okay. Uh, no. First turn. Of the shot of three counter. Nothing. Okay. Well, this is gonna be interesting. It's gonna be a, a fun end game. All right. Uh, play Shot of Greed's effect to draw two cards. No, I don't want to change just yet. Oh, I could, but I don't really want it. Um, play a good couple of housekeeping, so... I don't really need the Union Tax right now, but I'll use it for later. So at the moment, I've got six cards in hand, so I'll set one in pass. Nothing. Okay. So well, now I have a deck size of less than the Tayers, so now's the time to actually go off. Well, draw I mean, not by going off, but drawing everything. Uh, so I'll use uh, go good Goblin Housekeeper to draw two. A shot. Let's see. But we don't need the Union Attack at the moment. I have a big hand, but that's okay. Two cards in hand, so... If that goes on a Magic Jammer, I assume it's safe to use Promotion. Otherwise, I'm going to have to focus on using... Uh, you just have three turns just to uh, attack directly and hopefully do enough damage. So now I'm down to six cards, and yeah, that's pretty easy with this deck. Tail's actually one of the most easiest characters to uh, farm because in the regular Taya type of uh, duelist at the gate, she's actually pretty easy. You just use Kate Guard as well, and uh, she doesn't play any strong monsters, so you just use anything that has a, you use anything that has a. Um, uh, big beat stick value, uh, you can pretty much win against her easily. She can't uh, win against, just don't attack her monsters because she has skull angles and anything that allows her to search and do stuff. So don't do that. Uh, don't attack. So don't do that. So now I'll use a secret pass and just buff up my uh, vassal with all my unit attacks. Uh, normally you only need two, but I just use three just because if she. If I accidentally mess up and I, she negates one, well, that means I can have I have two spares and also I have one prismatic as well, so more more benefits. All right, that's over twenty thousand. Now attack, and that's all she wrote, literally. Okay, what did I get? I'm missing Zephyr. Zephyr and the, uh, I think one of them was the, uh, one destroyed by battle, it searches the counter trap, I'm missing, I think, one or two more of those, I can't remember, and, uh, two more of the, uh, the other super red, the last one, I can't remember what it's called, but right, anyway, let's see what I get, just some chests, eh, not good, not good. Come on, nothing. Oh well, sometimes you win some, sometimes you don't. Alright, well, that's it for that, um, the duel. Um, hmm. uh, but yeah, uh, Superb Taya, that's the deck I'm using for to farming her. Uh, to farm her. Uh, it's, it's pretty easy. Uh, basically, you have a giant beast stick, and just try and finish that as much as possible, and just use unit attack to do uh, effect damage with a vessel. Uh, but yeah, this is DC Show. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Signing out. Bye.